Good job, Chantel. I think we can sew this patient up. Thanks, Horatio. I have to say, feels good being back in the operating theater. I hate being off sick. I can tell. You were barely able to stand before you rushed back to work. I don't see what the big hurry is. I'd go crazy just sitting at home. You know that. My work is my life. If I didn't have this job to go to every day, I don't know what would happen to me. Interesting, Horatio. Very interesting. And then Horatio said to Chantel that his work is everything to him. I wonder what would happen if he lost his precious job. Hey, Yvonne Science, with him out of the way, I'm sure Chantel would give me another chance. Uh, I think this all sounds ridiculous, Graves, and really not very nice. You have to accept that Chantel broke up with you, and that's that. And besides, shouldn't you be focusing on what's really important here? Our plans to take over the world! Well, yes, yes, of course, uh, I've never lost sight of our true goal. Good, because I need you, Graves. I need you to be focused. I know, I know, I'm your only partner in this evil mission, and... Wait a second, what is that? What? What? What, 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 is, what is what? That thing! What is it doing in here? Oh, uh, you mean Benton. Uh, haven't, you, haven't you met Benton, my pet goat? <coughs> I certainly have not. Why on earth do you have a pet goat? I actually find Benton to be a very calming influence. <coughs> I see, I see. You've found another companion, of course. Good, Benton. That's a good Benton. Now, let's go watch The Bachelor. You're watching The Bachelor with Benton now? I thought that was our thing. Well, Benton loves watching The Bachelor. Although maybe he just wants to eat the roses. It, it's hard to tell. <coughs> I don't care what Dr. Von Science says. I am going to get Horatio fired. He's going to pay. What did you say? What? Oh, y yes, yes, yes. Hello down there. Hi. Oh, Dr. Graves. Have you met my son, Aspen? Me? No, 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 no. I, I... And my daughter, Kiki? No, 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 I, no, I haven't. Kids, this is Dr. Luke Graves. He's one of the doctors here at the hospital. Kiki and Espen are going to hang out here for a bit while I finish up my work. I see. Oh, that reminds me. I need to go speak to Tatiana. Kids, you can just play here behind the desk. Maybe you could draw a picture for Dr. Graves. Oh, uh, will you be long? Not long. Maybe ten minutes? You're welcome to hang out with the kids, though, if you want. I'm sure they'd love the company. Yes. This is a really good magazine. So is this one. Hmm. Uh, hello? H Horatio? Uh, yes, Horatio speaking. Who's this? This is a lo- Oh, I'm- I, I mean, this is Marmaduke. Marmaduke from the hospital. I don't believe we've met, Marmaduke. Oh, I, I work in uh, human resources, but I'm all over the hospital, really. It, it's, it's a big hospital. Very, very big. I suppose it is. How can I help you? Tatiana's uh, tied up at the moment, but she wanted me to call and let you know that you don't have to come in for your shift tonight. She wants to make sure you're well rested after your illness, so she said to uh, turn off your phone, get a good night's sleep, and, uh, come in the next day. Are you sure? You won't need me? Oh, no. That, a uh, very talented new doctor, Luke Graves, I believe his name is, he offered to take your shift. If you think he can handle it. Of course he can handle it. What a thing to say. Goodbye. Thinks I can't handle it. I could handle it with my eyes closed. That good for nothing. Kiki, what was he talking about? Why did Dr. Luke pretend to be someone called Marmaduke? I'm not sure, Espen. But the whole thing seemed weird to me. I've tried calling Horatio a dozen times. He should have been here over an hour ago. I don't know what to say. This is so unlike him. Don't worry about the shift, though. Uh, Dr. Graves happened to drop by the hospital, and he said he would stay until Horatio shows up. Well, thank goodness for that. I can't believe him. This is so irresponsible. Not even a phone call. I'm almost finished. 
You kids just wait here, and then we'll head home. Okay? Cheer up! Okay. Not even a phone call. Do you know how lucky we were that Luke Graves was able to work your whole shift? But, uh, I don't understand, Tatiana. Marmaduke said you didn't need me to come to work. Marmaduke? What kind of made-up name is that? I don't know what you're talking about. Marmaduke? From Human Resources? He said you asked him to call me. Now, I have heard some bad excuses in my day, but that really takes the cake. Marmaduke, honestly. I'm serious. You know what I think? You forgot to come in for your shift, and now you're coming up with stories to cover it up. I certainly hope it doesn't happen again, Horatio, because if it does, I'm not sure that there's a place for you here at Playmobil General Hospital. We need reliable doctors. What just happened? She can't be serious. Uh, Espen? Did you hear that? Yeah. Uh, I think that Dr. Luke is trying to get Horatio fired. He was the one on the phone pretending to be Marmaduke. And now Horatio's telling the truth. We have to tell Mom. Everything all right, kids? Mom, we need to tell you something. What is it? Yesterday, we saw Dr. Luke make a phone call and he pretended to be someone else. And he told Dr. Horatio that he didn't need to come into work. And now Dr. Horatio's in big trouble. Are you sure that's what you heard? We're sure, Mom. Dr. Luke wasn't telling the truth. Well, you were right to tell me. I don't know what he was thinking. Tatiana needs to know this. I need to know what? Oh, there you are. What good timing. You're not going to believe this, but my kids overheard Dr. Graves calling Horatio and telling him not to come into work. You're kidding. I'm afraid not. Well, I'm sure we can clear this all up. Sounds like someone's going to have to have a little talk with Dr. Graves.